Hello everyone, welcome back. This video shows you how to crochet a sling bag using 3D stitch. The materials required are 4 ply acrylic yarn, any 3 colors, 75 grams each, crochet hook, 4 mm, button, stitch marker, scissors, blunt needle, a pair of D hook. Let's begin our project by making a slip knot and oak chain 32 plus 1 extra chain for the single crochet. Now we have completed oaking our 33 chains. For the round one, we are going to work one single crochet into the second chain from the hook and place marker in top of the single crochet. After placing marker, continue working one single crochet into the next 30 stitches. Now we have completed our one single crochet in 30 stitches. There will be one chain left over. Into that chain we are going to work an increase. So work three single crochet increase. So one, two and three. We have completed our increase. Turn the project. Now we are going to work into the loop. So into the very first loop work one single crochet. And into the next loop, work one single crochet. Similarly, continue working one single crochet into the next 28 stitches. Now we have worked our one single crochet in 28 stitches and there will be one loop left over into that loop we are going to work an increase so here we are going to work two single crochet one and two now we have completed our increase remove the marker and work a slip stitch now we have completed our round on for the round two we are going to start with the chain one and work two single crochet into the same chain space so one single crochet and a second one into the same chain space and place marker in top of the very first single crochet from the next chain we are going to work one single crochet so continue working one single crochet into the next 30 stitches Now we have completed working one single crochet in 30 stitches. From the next stitch we are going to work increase. So into the very first chain we are going to work two single crochet. And into the next chain we are going to work an increase two single crochet. And into the next stitch we are going to work an increase that is two single crochet. So we have worked two single crochet increase in three stitches. So one, two and three. From the next chain we are going to work one single crochet into the next 30 stitches. So continue working one single crochet into the next 30 stitches. Now we have completed working one single crochet in 30 stitches. There will be two chain left over. Into the very first chain we are going to work two single crochet. And into the last chain we are going to work two single crochet. Now remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Now we have completed our round two. For the round three we are going to work a chain one and one single crochet into the back loop of same chain space. So into the back loop of the same chain we are going to work one single crochet and place marker in top of the single crochet. So into the next chain we are going to work one single crochet into the back loop and into the next chain like this continue working one single crochet all across the stitches.
Now we have completed working one single crochet into the back loop all across the stitches. There will be 72 chains. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. So in the end of the round 3 we will be getting 72 stitches. For the round 4 we are going to work chain 3 and into the same chain space we are going to work 2 double crochet. And place marker in top of the chain 3. Now we are going to skip 2 stitches and into the third stitch we are going to work 3 double crochet. So this round will be very easy. After completing 3 double crochet again we are going to skip 2 stitches that is 2 chain and into the third chain we are going to work 3 double crochet. Like this continue working the same pattern throughout the round 4. That is skip 2 stitches and into the third stitch we are going to work 3 double crochet. Pause the video continue working. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 4. Now we are in the end of the round 4. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the round 5, we are going to slip stitch in the next chain and work chain 1. In this round, we will be working in the second double crochet. So continue working one front post double crochet into the second DC below and place marker in top of the front post double crochet and work a chain 2 and 3 DC cluster into the same double crochet. In round 4 we worked 3 double crochet into the same chain space. In that 3 double crochet in the middle DC we are going to work the same pattern. So now into the middle of the DC that is second DC we are going to work one front post double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet cluster. Again in the middle DC we are going to work one front post double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet cluster. Repeat the pattern throughout the round 5. Pause the video, continue working. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 5. Now we are in the end of the round 5, remove marker and work a slip stitch. So for the round 6, we are going to work a slip stitch in chain 2 space and continue working chain 3 and 2 double crochet into the same chain space. That is we are working in the chain 2 space and place marker in top of the chain 3. So in this round, we are going to work in each and every chain 2 space. So into the next chain 2 space, we are going to work 3 double crochet. Again into the next chain 2 space we are going to work 3 double crochet. Like this continue working 3 double crochet in chain 2 spaces. Pause the video continue working 3 double crochet in each chain 2 space. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 6. Now we are in the end of the round 6, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. 
again for the next round we are going to walk a slip stitch into the next chain and walk a chain one and now we are going to walk a front post double crochet into the middle dc below now place marker in top of the front post double crochet and continue walking chain two three double crochet cluster in the same dc this round is the repetition of the round 5. So in this round we will be working in the second double crochet of each 3 DC below. So into the next 3 DC we are going to work in the middle double crochet. So work 1 front post double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet cluster into the same double crochet below. So in the second double crochet of the previous round, we are going to continue the same pattern. One front post double crochet, chain two, three double crochet cluster. Repeat the pattern throughout the round seven. So we will be working in the middle of the double crochet. That is the second double crochet. In the previous round, we work three double crochet. In that three double crochet. In the middle double crochet, we are working the pattern on front post double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet cluster. So into the next second double crochet, we are going to work 1 front post double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet cluster. I hope you understand the pattern. Continue working the same pattern throughout the round 7. Now we are in the end of the round 7. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. If you are continuing with the same color yarn, just repeat the pattern. If you are going to add a new color yarn after slip stitching, Make a chain 1 and cut the extra yarn. Now you can add the new color yarn by making a slip knot and insert into the chain 2 space. And continue working a chain 3 and 2 double crochet into the chain 2 space. This round is the repetition of the round 6. Place marker in top of the chain 3. Again into the next chain 2 space we are going to work 3 double crochet. Continue working 3 double crochet in chain 2 space. Repeat the round 5 and round 6 for your desired height of the bag. I have used 3 color yarns. Now remove the marker and work a slip stitch. Work a chain 1 and cut the yarn. For the next round, I am going to add the blue color yarn. So make a slip knot. And I am going to insert in the chain 2 space. And work a chain 1 and a single crochet. And place the marker in top of the single crochet. In this round I am going to work single crochet in chain 2 space and in the top of the 3 DC cluster and in the top of the double crochet. So first I am going to work a chain 1 and 1 single crochet into the chain 2 space. Then I am going to work a 1 single crochet in top of the 3 DC cluster. Again, work one single crochet in top of double crochet. 
and next in the chain 2 space again in the top of the 3 double crochet cluster and then in the top of the double crochet again in the chain 2 space next in the 3 DC cluster and then in the double crochet continue the same pattern throughout the round 22 now we are in the end of the round 22 remove the marker and work a slip stitch for the next round we are going to work a crab stitch so make a chain one and into the previous chain we are going to work single crochet this crab stitch is very simple we are going to work single crochet into the previous chain place marker in middle chain continue working the crab stitch till you reach the marker now we have reached the marker so work chain 20 for the button loop after completing the chain 20 skip the next chain and work a slip stitch into the next chain So skip the chain where we have placed the marker and into the next chain space work a slip stitch. After slip stitching continue working the crab stitch. The crab stitch is nothing but the reverse single crochet. Into the next stitch work a single crochet. Continue working the reverse single crochet all along the stitches. Now we have completed working our crab stitch. Insert the loop into the back side and cut the yarn and pull through the wrong side. Remove the marker and now we can sew the button using a blunt needle or a sewing needle. For the handle, make a slip knot and insert through the D hook and work a chain 1. Again, work 3 single crochet through the D hook. After completing the 3 single crochet, work a chain 3 and turn the work. And skip the next 2 stitches and into the 3rd stitch, work 3 double crochet cluster. Again, work a chain 3 and turn the project and in between the spaces of 3 double crochet cluster and the chain 3, work a 3 double crochet cluster.
again walk a chain 3 after walking a chain 3 in between the spaces of 3 chain and a cluster or a 3dc cluster again walk a chain 3 turn the walk and in between the spaces of the previous round walk a 3dc cluster like this continue walking the same pattern for a record length of the card Now we can attach the D-hook, so insert the needle and work a single crochet. And again into the hook work two single crochet. And in, into the top of the chain 3 work one single crochet through the D-hook. Now we can work a chain 1 and cut the extra yarn. Weave in all the extra yarns. Now we can attach the strap into the bag. So friends, we have completed our project. I hope you really enjoyed the pattern. Give it a try and share it with me. If you have any doubt, please comment me. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon for the notification. Thanks for watching.